This video, we're going to cover sticky notes, network boxes, and background images in the network editor inside Houdini. So to begin, we are going to create another sticky note. We have one here already. Let's click on add, and we can either click on sticky note or hit shift P, or you can click on here for quick access to making a new sticky note. We're going to hit shift P because hotkeys are the best. I'm going to scale out my note and click inside and paste some of the hotkeys for the network editor inside. I'm going to hit C, select it, and color it pink. You can access the color palette here as well. Hit C to toggle off the color palette. And we can quickly expand or collapse our uh, sticky notes by using some hotkeys. So if we select this minimize sticky note here and hit Shift K, we can maximize it. If we wish to minimize all our sticky notes, we can just select them and hit Shift J. Now I'm going to move this over here. And if you want to delete your sticky notes, you can just select it and delete, but I don't actually want to do that. What I want to do is actually expand it back and I want to have it remain in the background. So one thing I can do is right mouse button over it and click on hide background. So if I click off of the note, it's basically just text like wallpaper, which is pretty handy. Now the black is not super legible, so if I hit C key and I click and drag the white color onto the text, I have some easily accessible hotkeys as like a sticky note that I can always refer back to. I can also change the text size, so I can set it to medium, but that's ginormous, so you may want to use that for something else, but uh, for these hotkeys, I want to keep it small. Okay, so that is the sticky notes. Next, we're going to look at network boxes. So we want to keep the environment light and camera in a network box. We can select them and go to add and click on network box or hit shift O. And there is our network box. It's kind of tight. So let's just move things over and we'll double click to give it a name. And you can actually use the contents of your network box to resize the, the container, which is handy. So if I want to drop another camera inside, I can do so by putting it here and further scale it accordingly. I can also align my content like so. And if I change my mind and I don't want to have the camera 2 inside, instead of slowly moving, I can just rip it out of the network box and it's outside so when I move it around it's not connected but if I want to put it back I can do so and it is in the network box so again it is collapsible like the sticky notes as well. Next we are going to look at background images so for example if we want to have some small reference images that we want to associate with a certain node we don't want to necessarily read the node we just want to see what that node is we can add some background images let's go to add and select background image or use shift i and let's select one so there's our background image and it's not actually super usable right now because it's making our nodes hard to read. So we actually want to scale it down and just move it away from the center. So we're going to go to tools and click on edit background images. So I'm going to move it down and scale it. Notice that it's proportionally scaling. And here I have some further controls. So if I want to control the alpha, I can. I can also link a background image to a node. So if I don't want it to go there, I can click it on any other node or network boxes. But I actually want to keep it on the small vacuum. So I'm going to keep it like that. And I'm going to bring in another background image with Shift I. There's my second image. And because I'm still in the edit background mode, I can scale it down, position it like so. And I also want to link this to small vacuum. So now I'm done. I can hit control I to get out of the background editing mode. And now when I move my small vacuum node, I can see the images are staying with that node, which is pretty convenient if I want to branch off and make a network box of small vacuum and have a bunch of nodes inside, I can do so very easily. So I'll put it back down here. I can also add background images that I can use as reference images. So I can hit Shift I 
bring in another image and with control I, I can edit this, scale it out a bit and control I to jump out. And there is a reference image that I can use and I can just pan to see it when I need to or not. And if I don't need it, then I just hit control I and click on the X to remove the background image and control I to jump out. And that was the sticky notes, network box, and background images in the network editor inside Houdini.